Care Tabelle in are fourth in the league table. They are one of the Bundesliga's big surprises this season and Pal Dadai is a huge reason for that. The 39-year-old comes from Hungary, but it's Hertha that stole his heart. He's been at the club for 18 years, first as a player, then a youth coach and since the start of this season, head coach. Who is the man that has taken Hertha from mediocrity towards the top of the Bundesliga? Kick off with Dadai about discipline, ambition and Hungarian beach resorts. As a player, you were known as a tough guy. How much of that comes through in Pal Dadai as a coach? When it's about training or football, then I am tough. But in private, I'm quite a softy. The players get enough free time. It's a give and take. Of course, when somebody makes a technical mistake, I don't say anything. That's part of it. But I'm tough on tactical mistakes. I get mad about it. Anything that harms team spirit annoys me. I was the same as a player. For me, the team was everything. I stuck to the tactics and wanted to win. Every day, every training, be it football, tennis, basketball or any other sport, I always wanted to win. It's the same now with the team. This year we go to every game wanting to win. Short passes. Football philosophy is important to me. It's worked so far, but it's very difficult to push yourself to the limit every weekend. So you want them to play a little more football, is that it? Let's return to the tough guy in you. I've noticed that you bring a fresh approach to the touchline. Of course you look totally focused, but at the same time like one of the guys. Are you? Well, I try to stay part of the team. I don't want to be distant. If a coach is active and speaks with his players, it breaks down barriers. When a player doesn't feel any barriers, then he plays better. He's honest and does not need to be worried about me and my fresh approach. I go to bed every night at 9.30. By 10, I'm out cold. I'm up again at 6, we bring the kids to school, and then I come here and my day begins. I relax with my family. I have a garden. I have a lawn. It looks like the Olympic Stadium grounds there. And lots of people think I probably am a little crazy when they see what I do in my garden with such beautiful grass. But when I do something, I do it properly. That sounds a little bit like you are just as disciplined in your private life. Well, how should I put it? When it comes to my clothes, I'm a bit messy, but my wife takes care of that. It's not pretty, but it's how I was raised. As a kid, my mum took care of that, and now it's my wife. Order is important. Discipline. I'm never late, and that's really important to me. When I say I'll be there, I'll be there. It's important. Where does this mentality come from? I think I was born that way. I'll tell you a little story so you can understand better. When I was around seven, I went with my family to the beach. In Hungary, there are a lot of thermal bath resorts. When we went inside, I spotted a table tennis set in a toy store. Two bats with a net. I told my father, I want this table tennis set. And my father said, is it your birthday? I said, no, then you're not getting it. In the end, I was crying and my father said, if you can keep this ball up 20 times, you can have it. After that, I did nothing else, just practiced. I didn't eat or drink. I cried and I smashed stuff up. I kept trying and in the end, I managed it 22 times. I got to go swimming one more time and then I got my table tennis set and on the way home, I fell asleep in the car. My father told me afterwards I would achieve whatever I set my mind to because I'm ambitious. So I was born that way. That's how I am. And you're bringing that mentality to the club. What have you set your mind to do at Hertha? Where will they end up? Will it all work out? 
Football is always 30% luck, and this year has started well, but you mustn't overrate it. This year, everything has to go well. We have to survive. That's it. At the start of the season, everyone said, Herta are going down and Pal Dardai will be out. We'll see. As a coach, you can only ever think six weeks ahead. No more, because when you lose six times, you're out.